Alright, so the stuff I ordered the other day. Shut up. Guess what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'm gonna wait on this one. Uh, I'm gonna put it in this computer here. I'm gonna go ahead and try these. Let's see. This other tripod sucks. Okay. 100% uh, factory tested. These are all different languages. It says 1.5 volt. It does not anywhere say that it is DDR3. Uh, copyright 2023. So that, you know, usually when they have copyright stuff, they're concerned about the longevity of their business. A little bit. Warranty. Limited lifetime warranty made in Taiwan. I don't see anywhere where this is DDR3L. Um, I was under the impression by looking at it that they were saying it could be either or. Um, I just claim to have a lifetime warranty which is kind of interesting. Yeah, it doesn't say uh, L on it. It doesn't say 1.35 volt or anything. But this was 16 bucks, 17 bucks. Oh, it does say right here, compatible with low voltage 1.35. Okay. I don't know what that will really entail. I don't know how that's... How, how is that possible for this to be compatible I mean, I do have regular um, uh, RAM in a low voltage laptop. Um, I do. So, I guess we'll just open it up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this other computer and put it in there. Alright, so this is the computer right here. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and move it over a little bit. Actually, I guess I could try a couple of experiments, but let's make sure. There's a power button on it right here, which is kind of cool. Um, Okay, so I push that for a second to just charge all the power. So we're going to go ahead and remove these memory sticks in here. It's a crucial ballistic, which seems to be pretty good stuff. Um, it's going to be 8 gigabytes on that. We'll take this. Grab our knife. This is how I open these all the time. Keep it simple. Don't even bother to try and open that blister pack, dude. <laughs> I think they call it a blister pack for a reason. You're going to get blisters on your hands if you try and undo any of that. Okay. Pop our first stick in here. Do a little visual of it. Turn the flash on. Let's we'll see if we see 
anything strange whatsoever. I guess this is what they call dual rank, right? BAP. A lot of different numbers on. Anyway, I wanted to do a visual of that. Let's go ahead and get this thing in. I got mosquitoes flying around in here, and uh, I like I moved over to here, and all of a sudden I saw like four or five of them all at once. It's kind of nuts. So. It goes without saying, you need to know where the notch goes. This one, you don't push these down on this particular motherboard. It doesn't have the dual ones. I just not want to go in with it. Even though there's no clicky thing on that one, you still have to push it on both ends. All right. Do a visual inspection of this one also. All right, looks good. I guess you always wonder which slot to put them in, and I guess. The reason is they're colored for a reason because you can run it in dual channel if they're in the same color, I believe. I've never understood why they're always wanna go in. No, these don't like going in. Something to note. Uh, maybe a certain other uh, motherboards you might have a problem. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, there goes a the mosquito. Damn, They're, the weather must be changing. They're aggressive. All right, so let me zoom out. Okay. So this is the Asus P8Z68V Pro Gen 3 board. And it's got a Core i7 in it, and I think it's a 2500K. I have a dual boot Linux, and uh, it's a Bontu, and uh, what's the other one? Mint Cinnamon. Linux Mint. Wow, these. I'm gonna end up getting chewed up making this video because these mosquitoes are circling. All right. Let's go ahead and boot this thing up. Change the TV source. I don't remember what it was supposed to be set to. This TV is like the world's worst TV I've ever bought. It does not like to change. Okay. Let's 
turned on the computer. And hopefully I picked the right HDMI. We don't hear any beeping or anything out of the computer yet. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Uh, 16, 384 megabyte DDR3. Okay. Okay. So, and now, um, let me move this here. We gotta get the kids stuff out of here. Okay. So I set this computer up for them to play this game. It's an educational game that they actually use at school. Uh, press enter to set up BIOS setting. Press F1 to run setup. Alright. So we should be able to see. Is it just a CPU voltage? Total memory. So this computer here has an i7-2600K CPU at 3.4 gigahertz. And this thing runs fast with the uh, crappy old hard drive. So um, I just can't even imagine how fast it would run with an actual SSD. Which So now we have one. Uh, is that loot priority Ubuntu? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and just reset. So I want to try Ubuntu first before I make any assessment on how the thing is running because, okay, so 16 seconds, 349, 16 seconds. All right. Oh, I just booted into the other one. Okay, well, anyway, let's just see how fast. It's been about 15 seconds since I first started it. And even that wouldn't be fair because I actually paused for at least a couple seconds before I hit enter. I have a feeling they'll probably boot in about one minute. And that's on a spinning hard drive, so that's not bad at all. But I didn't mean to uh, run Mint. I meant to run Ubuntu. So. As you can see, the TV is pretty dirty. They've got stuff all over it. I got to get that uh, thing of screen cleaner. Just earlier, they were screwing around with super glue. Luckily, it was almost empty. Okay, so it has been over one minute. Well, about one minute and 10, 15 seconds, somewhere around there, give or take. So, and this has never been set up as you can see, so welcome to Linux Mint. Okay. Another cool thing, this computer actually has a Bluetooth module enabled in it. Um, so I got lucky there. It's actually plugged in in the back. I wondered, I was like, what is this little funky, really low profile blue thing? And it's in one of the USB ports. So that was another added bonus. So. I haven't used uh, this version of this. It's set up a lot like Windows. But it's basically Ubuntu, you know, more or less. Um, 